all uh, Shana and uh, Luke, thank you uh, by the your invitation. Boloba! <laughs> 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 Do some research, mm -hmm. you know, ask about some people, and I was at that time um, between a uh, hot water and a uh, dog brasileiro. Mm -hmm. That's um, our uh, that's our breed, and uh, it's a national breed recognized uh, only uh, within Brazil. Mm -hmm. uh, we have the Category uh, in our uh, kennel, our Brazilian kennel, uh, and some races are recognized. Some breeds are recognized, uh, recognized only within Brazilian uh, borders, mm -hmm. not uh, out. The fila brasileiro is uh, the other case. Fila is recognized around the world in all all other kennels. Yeah, but. Um, The, this breed, the dog brasileiro, uh, was um, founded, was uh, initi initiated here. Uh, some, uh, I don't know, some uh, two hours uh, 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 travel by my house. So I wanted this uh, uh, to know this, this this breed. So I made some telephone call speak with uh, Marcia, this uh, Pedro's wife, and go to the kennel and see the dogs. <laughs> and and I, I was uh, fallen in love with this uh, female. That's my first female, Loba. Mm -hmm. And from that, I, I know that, I, that, that this will be um, a challenge. And... Uh, some some way I know that um, we'll be need to contribute with the breed uh, by this female. So uh, two years late, I received from gift by Mr. Pedro a male. The Zark <laughs> is my first male on the on the breed, and then I. Two years uh, late from that, I took my first lead and 15 puppies. And how many? How, 15, you said? 15 wow. puppies. Wow. Yeah, a big lead. And that was to uh, fire baptisms. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, a lead is so big, you know, yeah. you have to help the male. It's not only to close the door and uh, take take care of your children. <laughs> That's yeah. not possible. No. You don't have to, to take the hands and, yeah, I will help you. Uh -huh. no, no problem. Yeah. So, uh, by this, uh, uh, some, some of these puppies went to houses and uh, people start to work with them, work on obedience, And uh, some some uh, guarding uh, the protection work, and from this, uh, two of them uh, were most um, I I I can uh, speak most uh, distinguished between the others. Mm -hmm. uh, Most work too, mm -hmm. so it's a work 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 uh, issue mm -hmm. too. And uh, these dogs, uh, one of them is Iago do Vento Sul. My kennel, my my suffix is uh, Vento Sul. It means in English a south wind, because I'm from the southern part of Brazil. Okay, and so I I, I like to imagine that. Uh, 
the dogs came from south right. yeah so that's a, a, a metaphoric yeah right. um, and one of these males yago went to sul uh, uh was by it uh, from to leo leo sense leo sense by the puppy and leo is a partner um and now are uh, studying and working with shootsman here in brazil so uh, leo uh, together with adriano um who was uh in the shootsman uh, worked this dog uh, mm-hmm. and the results were are very good to a uh, a bull i will say that a bulldog and dog brasileiro is uh much like uh, other bulls mm-hmm. but uh, one difference the defense uh, instinct or the defense drive is more uh, accentuate within our bull so the dogs are often orientated to man fight mm. not just uh, hunt and uh, other hunting or or fighting with other animals just the majority of bu- bully races now mm-hmm. so uh after that i was uh impelled to work my dogs on shoots hunt too mm-hmm. and uh, we begin a, a process with travelings uh, five hours six hours to one state <laughs> one brazilian state mm-hmm. uh, six hour north six hours south to train yeah, yeah. leo and adriano here i and others come there and we we have this uh, traveling training group <laughs> oh, awesome awesome it's, yeah that's 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 fine that's fine and uh we i was uh, in other uh, seminaries with uh and um, how can i say this in english and uh workshops workshops with other dogmans here in brazil mostly people studying and and um working with shutsun with ipo ipo mm-hmm. yeah and um my dogs uh were were just fine in, in this routine yeah uh, i i to describe to you uh more or less the, the the psychology of the the dog brasileiro within the IPO uh them are often between um mali and uh malino Ma, malinoa uh, shepherd mm-hmm. and uh german yeah the um, not so not so high not so high uh, hunting uh, drives mm-hmm. yeah but not this this crazy hunting dive to drive to balls and 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 things like that uh, and not the the extreme aggression that we see in some uh, german shepherds oriented by men mm-hmm. yeah so often in the the middle term mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so yeah that's dog that our dogs that uh, will be fine in training by puppy and working with a uh, real dog man né, that that know the, the the discipline will be very fine mm-hmm. that's the history mm-hmm. <laughs> i don't know if you had questions about it yeah i definitely uh read a little bit about the history uh i was more impressed about uh why i wanted to really reach out i was more impressed about how those two breeds created something uh that is so suited for IPO type work uh, i was amazed because you know um uh, you take an english bull terrier which is very human um passive and loves humans and doesn't really seem to have that instinct it does have 
the history of uh, dog fighting, uh, as we know, unfortunately, but they have that instinct. I've seen that into an English Bull Terrier where they are uh, extremely aggressive towards other dogs and are willing to, you know, fight, uh, unfortunately, fight to the death. But I, I've, I haven't seen that ability in, in protecting too much with a bull terrier unless it's extreme measures, somebody breaking into the house. They, they might have that instinct, but I wouldn't say all of them do. And the, uh, the boxers that I've seen here in the United States are uh, very, very, very passive and uh, more energetic and more willing to, to play than they are to protect. And I haven't seen them be extremely dog aggressive. I think they're rough with other dogs just because of their nature. But I have not seen them be uh, uh, dog aggressive or human aggressive. So to me, it was interesting to see uh, not only the looks. The looks to me are fantastic. It's it's like the best of both worlds, really. Uh, but it was really interesting to see how you you worked with them and just see how they reacted. I was really impressed. So I was like, well, I got, I got to have somebody like yourself on, uh, to, to talk about, you know, this dog that comes from Brazil that most of us Americans, uh, layman's like me who are not like extreme dogmans, uh, would, uh, would understand. So, um, why do you think it was and how was that the originator's idea when he got, when he bred the dog? The two dogs together. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, Pedro Dantas uh, told me that uh, he in, in the time of the uh, it's some some things are are important to to clarify in in this. Uh, first of all, uh, in seventeens. Uh, uh, when uh, 70s, when uh, this breed was initiated, mm -hmm. of uh, bull terriers here in Brazil, and most of boxers here in Brazil, uh, they were uh, watchdogs, okay. guard dogs. Okay. Most of them. Uh, why? Because uh, the people in Brazil use uh, in this time, um, the people uses the dogs uh, uh, orientated in this sense. So most of families uh, have dogs with this uh, objective: mm -hmm. uh, watch dogs, war dogs, defense dogs. Uh, with the bull terriers, uh, some some uh, people. In this time, uh, do fighting dogs? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, it, in Brazil uh, was uh, prohibited. Prohib uh, is is from yeah prohibited. I don't know. Yeah, prohibited. I don't know the the year, but but uh, some like uh, in the seventies. Uh, I I. Think that it will be uh, uh, not prohibited. Yeah, people can do this. So um, we we join together this defense dog, the box, jack box, and the, the fighting dog, the bull terrier. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Combining the two psychologies made uh, a dog with uh, a lot of stamina, a dog who likes to fight, mm -hmm. yeah. a dog who can hold uh, physical, a dog who likes to fight. Mm -hmm. yeah. Dog who can hold uh, physical injury, mm -hmm. a dog, very hard dog, mm -hmm. and uh, effective dog by uh, the nature of both race, yeah, effective to to the family, 
and uh, but the most important was the selection before the the initial breed yeah. mm -hmm. because the dog brasileiro now is not only the cross between two breeds the two breeds the, the two original breeds uh the work the selection work made after the this initial this initial breed uh, bring us the the real nature the actual uh, nature of the dog brasileiro mm -hmm. the psychology nature yeah uh, and uh, but this project is not finished yet. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we are working on this we are working to breed dogs with more defense drive mm -hmm. but with other drives to uh act like a support drive, yeah? Mm -hmm. Not so high uh, that the dogs uh, can eventually uh, fall on running, mm -hmm. preservation instinct, uh, high defense, but with other uh, support um, drives that impel the dog to the man fight. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Some house or my honor give me the the order i will attack the this uh, invader this strange this i don't know uh, if it was well, it was needed mm -hmm, yeah. mm -hmm. so i the selection the, the beginning of the race is important in in terms that it permit the post selection uh, work mm -hmm. without the select we don't have the dog brasileiro mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so pedro uh, uh, project and uh, write the the the, the uh, breed uh, tests temperament and uh psychology tests mm -hmm. to to the to the breed and then uh, we start to uh test the dogs yeah or uh, was in past well, a time that all dogs all all, all breeders have tested dogs mm -hmm. so uh, it's uh, a lot of controversial uh, by these tests uh, in these tests because they are uh, rudimentary tests, uh, very uh, very simple tests. But uh, in the last um, simplification, uh, these what these are the tests what we need. Mm -hmm. In fact, because they are. Uh, Attack tests to you, yeah, mm -hmm. and attack with two dogs, uh, uh, double double attack. So uh, two dogs with the same sex, the the, the same same gender, male male, female female, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. or male female, female male. Yeah, so you can do the uh, there are the two modalities. You you can do with one dog. We can do with two dogs, two dogs same sexes or different sex. So uh, dogs orientated to fight other dogs will release the human and fight the the, the companions. Mm -hmm. It's a simple idea, but a very uh, very smart idea too. Mm -hmm. So these these uh, tests will, I know, I I think. That were the the the, the, the the how can I say the the real force within uh, the breeding program. Real force within the breeding. Mm -hmm. So the, now we have a dog that works on humans. Uh, sometimes we have uh, fighting issues. It, it's not uncommon in the breed, but we. Are working, still working. Uh, less uh, dogs, more orientated to humans, and more uh, with more defense. Mm -hmm. Is there any other jobs that you think that the uh, the 
the doggy brazerlo would be good for besides protection work? And is there any dogs that are, say, that are starting to be trained for uh, police work or hunting? Yeah, some some people are using them to to hunting dogs. Uh, they're they're fine in this job, but um, we think that uh, these have to always uh, have a, a secondary hole in the race mm -hmm. in the pool. Mm -hmm. Um, the instincts uh, involved in uh, one involving in one uh, and the other jobs are uh, severely distinct. So, uh, with uh, a hunting dog, we we want a dog who fight another animal. So, uh, as a boar dog, or maybe uh, with Severe stamina with uh, lots of strain and, and jaw jaw strain, but uh, we want a dog who are able to to work with dog uh, unknown dogs and peoples. Yeah, you 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 made a group of hunters. Yeah, let's go hunt there. Okay. You go, that's so other hunters that you don't know, your dog are not familiar with them. So now with the, the project that we are running, that accidents may occur. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The dog is the very, uh, very strange dogs mm -hmm. and very strange and with some aggression oriented to humans, mm -hmm. you know that can be some problems yeah. in the hunt. <laughs> but uh, some some dogs with the less defense instinct uh, that we own within the the defense program, I will say that there there are not two programs in in the breed. But some uh, puppies that we don't use within our main uh, main breeding program, I, I will say that will be fine in in, in hunt, mm -hmm. yeah, in hunting, yeah. because uh, the the last the 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 puppies with less uh, defense drive are not the puppies that we uh, are looking to breed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But these puppies, uh, most of them uh, have uh, stream high hunting drive. So they can do the hunt job without, without any problem. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, other, other job that uh, Dog Brasileiro is um, doing now not not as a working uh, within this job, but uh, training to this dog, just to do this job well, is the the tracking tracking mm -hmm. because some uh, we are training our dogs uh, in IPO and IPO we have the three sections yeah obedience obedience. Uh, tracking and uh, so uh, some dogs are doing a great job in, in tracking. Mm -hmm. So we we are uh, thinking that uh, these dogs are pointed are pointing a new di direction. Mm -hmm. and we uh, maybe we produce a dog that can. Uh, use the smell sense uh, as a tool to work too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. By this, but uh, it's an interesting issue because the most um, you you will have the most um, high uh, uh, tracking and uh, smelling uh, smell use. 
when uh, the dog uh, know that uh, can be a man who will be bite in the end of the track. Right. So when the dog imagine that will be a fight there, the dog, uh, the instincts afflorate more. So uh, maybe the tracking process uh, within a, a police, uh, a police uh, job will be the, the, the more uh, use used or, or uh, more fitted job yeah. to the, the mind of Yeah, I, I I don't know much about IPO and I don't know much about, you know, training or everything, but what what I just my natural instinct by watching videos and then watching some of yours is that I could I get the feeling that wow, this this dog could probably do what a Belgian Malinois does. You know what I mean? Eventually yeah. with the right selection, etc., and the right uh breeding programs, but uh um, plus I like the looks better than a Malinois. So <laughs> that, I was like, yeah, I definitely want to see that. Uh, so, um, yeah, it's great that you guys are working on that. I, uh, I'm just amazed at, at, at all the, the really nice dogs, different kinds of dogs, especially the bull breeds that, uh, your country Brazil has. So, um, yeah, I commend you for your work. Um, what would you say the the uh the standards are uh for the dog Brazilio right now? What uh what is the correct weight and height and all of that? Yeah. Um uh, now uh we are working in improve some of the um uh some of these uh measures mm -hmm. we are working to breed uh more uh, taller and weighter dogs um, because because um not because the dogs are smaller uh, are small but because uh, eventually some puppies are uh a little bit uh, small than the others, mm -hmm. so we are working to improve the the, the mean of the all population. Mm -hmm. To uh, by this way, our uh, small dogs are uh, are are um, are bigger than in the past. Mm -hmm. So that's the process. But uh, a good uh, within the standard a dog brasileiro, uh, you can expect a male with uh, some about 30 to 35 kilograms and uh, something like uh, uh, 55, 57 centimeters in the in the cross. I don't know how to... In, we we call Cernelia, this region of the... The weathers? The yeah, yeah, yeah. We measure the, the high in, in, mm -hmm. this, in this part. So uh, this was a, a, good, a, a good and a stud dog. Yeah, a, a dog with pattern to, to stud. So uh, females... Uh, Something uh, small than that, but uh, more or less, more or less the same, same, uh, the same uh, than the males. A, a little bit lighter because of the the muscles. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, this, uh, this is uh, the what we consider now a good uh, dog to to study. Uh, in a good uh, female to be uh, a mother, but um, it's important to note that some dogs uh, uh, have uh, you 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 see my videos mm -hmm. and you may see the lobo working. Uh, it's one of my males. 
Lobo is a dog that uh, he is not uh, the the bigger dog that I have, but uh, his mind is uh, a great uh, defense dog mind. So he's uh, a little bit lighter than than uh, the other male Zark. Zark is his father, the son of Zark. His son of Zark and Loba, mm-hmm. my my two uh, dog in Brazil. And uh, he's about uh, 29, 30 kilograms. Mm-hmm. And he's about uh, 53, 55 centimeters. But he's a, a very, a very aggressive dog to mm-hmm. man, to, to, to human. And uh, a very, uh, he's, he, he has a conformation, the mm-hmm. general conformation of the body. It's very interesting. Mm-hmm. He's a, but a fast and strong dog. So uh, this is a dog that I, I am using in my breeding program. Uh, Despite the the the, the light, mm. uh, despite the the, uh, the 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 height of the dog, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and uh, we we have a, a club, a bull boxer club. Bull boxer, uh, we we preserve the name by the history of the the breed. So, and this this work. This club, we have the conformation uh, test. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's a simple send me picture and video of your dog. And we send this to three judges and they vote in the conformation. And we, we have the this registered uh, within our system, mm-hmm. our website. So, uh, but... Uh, we we are working uh, only with this uh, conformation test by the sense of preservation of the 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 standard mm-hmm. of the breed, mm-hmm. not the sense of competition. Oh, my dog is uh, is is wonderful. Your dog is not so wonderful. So I'm. I'm a I'm a best uh, <laughs> dog. That's not the, the the that's not the philosophy within the club. Right, right. We, we dog Brazil. We we used to we used to say the most beautiful dog brasileiro is the one that bites and and fights harder than man. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, um, Sean, we two times from now, I was some like uh, a little bit more, and I sell two dogs to United States. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, um, for some reason, the the, the business would not uh, confirm. So. The dogs stay here in my house with me now. But, uh, yeah, sure, no problem. Yeah. Uh, somebody looks for a, a dog brasileiro and, or wants a, a bully, bully breed, uh, orientated to, to protection. Yeah. Just contact us and yeah. we can, no problem. Uh, we have, um, more people looking for dogs than uh, puppies looking for <laughs> moles. Right, right, right. Now uh, more people interested than uh, leaders. That's awesome. But uh, it's to us because uh, this is not a breed to be popularized around the world and and made some some. Uh, the same that uh, the people do with Pitbull or Hotwiler mm-hmm. or uh, uh, Doberman and other breeds around the world that were just fine breeds in some time and now are 
uh, breathing without responsibility in health and and psychology issues. No, so mm. to us it's important to maintain the breed, but uh, with the, the right kind of uh, breeders and the right kind of dogs being bred. Mm -hmm. That's the main question about this. So if uh, anybody wants a dog, yeah, just no problem to us. Mm -hmm. In the, the foundation of Dog Brasileiro, we have three breeds, not two, two only. Three breeds are uh, used. So, uh, we have the first cross between uh, Bull Terriers and German Boxers. And after okay. that, uh, some time later, uh, Pedro uh, add some of uh, some of dogs that was uh, pit bulls. Okay. But here in Brazil, uh, when they came to Brazil, these dogs were imported from Mexico and and basically Mexico and United States. But when uh, these dogs came in Brazil, they receive uh, registered uh, register as uh, American Staffordshire uh, Terrier. So uh, this wa this uh, this was dogs that we call double register, <laughs> yeah, because they are mm -hmm. uh, genetically pit bulls, but uh, uh, in the paper they are uh, American Staffordshire Terrier. Right? They yeah. Well, they 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 are pit bulls. <laughs> That's not uh, American. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. This, this uh, was uh, 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 in the beginning of the race, yeah. Uh, some years before, uh, a guy here in Brazil, a breeder, uh, his name is uh, uh, Wagner Montanha. Mm -hmm. He has a, a, a breeding program. Uh, with uh, American Staffordshire Terriers mm -hmm. for defense work. Mm -hmm. And in some time, he was a breeder of uh, Brazil, uh, Dog Brasileiro too. And some of the uh, Americans, uh, Staffordshire Terriers, uh, were crossed with uh, mm -hmm. the Dog Brasileiro by Pedro Dantas, mm -hmm. our founder. So uh, we have uh, the three uh, three breeds uh, mixed to found our basic uh, genetic pool. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, bull terrier, German boxer, and American Staffordshire Terrier. Mm -hmm. So uh, now we are looking for. Uh, in the in the correct uh, when we find the correct dog the correct american charity here with our uh, the characteristics that we we think that we need and the correct bull terrier and the correct uh, german boxer we can do the initial breeds again mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but uh, that are very rare dogs now because you 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 speak in the you in the beginning of our our talk here uh, the most of uh, bull terriers now are show dogs yeah most mm. of boxers are pets <laughs> they don't don't work and most of uh, uh, american staffordshire terriers uh, are show dogs too. So mm -hmm. have the the, uh, the the frequent uh, finding of the correct dog. It's mm -hmm. most like a, a discard dog, uh, a discard um, dog within the the main programs of the breeds. Yeah. Right. But uh, if we found if we if we found. The correct dog, yeah, no problem. We mm -hmm. we do some uh, reintroducing with the same uh, 
bleeds blood, mm -hmm. not uh, ones. Yeah, because uh, the dog brasileiro. It's inter interesting to note that dog brasileiro was uh, raised by uh, bully breeds. Yeah, the German mm -hmm. Fox is a, a bully breed in the beginning, the origin, of the race, mm -hmm. the breed, and the, the English Bull Terrier and the American Staffordshire is the same. So mm -hmm. we don't want fall out of the foundation of the, the breed, mm -hmm. yeah? Uh, Doggy bird is a bull. The, that's not... Uh, the, if you see the dog, you... you frequent, frequently, people ask me, what kind of bull is this? What right. kind of bull you breed is this? Yeah, the people mm -hmm. don't know the, the breed. They ask me, oh, that's a pit bull with American, that's a pit bull... With some uh, bull terrier that's American with uh, bull terrier, what is this cross? The people imagine the the, the breeds involved. No, no, it's a different breed. It's a Brazilian breed. Mm. Oh, that's fine. I don't know the the breed. Oh, okay, that's my dogs. I breed. I'm Diego. Now mm -hmm. this this best thing that all Brazilian dog Brazilian owner do man, in the streets. Yeah. that's common. But uh, awesome. everybody who looks at the dog know it's a bull. What kind of bull? I don't know, but it's a bull. Yeah. Right. So we don't want to, to run from this heritage. Mm -hmm. Well, um, here in, in South Brazil, we have temperatures uh, from zero, but uh, minus five is, is the the most, most cold that we have see here yeah in our winter uh, from for some days not for some months so um, in extreme cold uh, uh, environments we, you will have to take some cares yeah. with the dog place to sleep eventually within the house or in a garage or something mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. or, uh, in the weather, they they don't uh, will be fine, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. I don't have notice of uh, no no dog in this extreme so cool uh, environment, but uh, with with some with some cautions, I I, I think that we we will be fine. Yeah. They they can live uh, in small spaces. That problem, but, but uh, I have seen that uh, the the training process is important to mm -hmm. uh, place the, the correct the place the mind of the dog in the correct place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, the dog will need some. Uh, Physical uh, training, running or uh, swimming, I don't know what kind of uh, physical job, some physical job. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's important once a week or in the beginning once a week or in, in when the dog knows the training, uh, you can be twice... Uh, uh, two weeks or a month, uh, one time a month, you have to uh, train your dog to protection from some time. Mm -hmm. Some, I think, uh, one and a half years or two years. Yeah. Otherwise, uh, the dog will will. <laughs> Uh, ruin, uh, ruin your house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's uh, they mm -hmm. have so much. That they cannot keep uh, a couch and uh, I don't know a bed. I don't know yeah. what more. Uh, that some cases that we know uh, the people who uh, locks the dog locks the door 
left the dog uh, free in the house and came back. The dog uh, <laughs> <laughs> ruined the, the, the so yeah. they can be uh, uh, much. Uh, they can be much uh, problem makers. Yeah, big right. problem makers. Right. Yeah. Well, man, I'm now um, a little bit. Uh, uh, I don't know how to say this. Uh, happy, a little bit uh, happier than in the uh, in the recent past because there are uh, new new uh, breeders, new interested interested breeders. Yeah. We have now some uh, owners be becoming uh, breeders in, in, in from I don't know some months from now. Yeah, they will have the the, the first leaders of their lives uh, with dog brasileiro, and uh, people are more interested in work uh, their dogs too. Yeah, that's very important to the 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 uh, con the preservation mm -hmm. of the original dog brasileiro yeah mm -hmm. because it's a, a working dog it's a family dog who are able to work mm -hmm. yeah that's the, the philosophy so uh, you have to work uh, your dog mm -hmm. uh, to know if they are able to work yeah right. because otherwise you don't have the the assurance that mm -hmm. they will work when you need mm -hmm. so the people are interested in work their dogs that's a very important thing to me and we are uh, able to uh enlarge the, the population of the the, the breed mm -hmm. that's a very important so more dogs more breeders and more working uh, or more dogments mm -hmm. more, mm -hmm. more working there that's the the thing that now we are uh, having in, within the the brazilian dog community and in some years i think some 10 years or 15 years uh, i think that we will we will have uh, more uh, more dogs and more uh, and the selection better uh, better selection within our breed mm -hmm. that's what I, and what I am seeing from, from now yeah mm -hmm. people studying understanding the the dog and so, uh, and including the the training system, mm -hmm. yeah, training system. I I think that uh, IPO it's a, a great discipline to work our dogs, but I think that in the old-fashioned way, yeah, the the, uh, the 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 old-fashioned way of IPO that uh, I like to call original uh, Schutzhund. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the discipline, the, the the selection system that made the Hotwiler, the the uh, Doberman, the Boxer, and uh, most of all the German Shepherd mm -hmm. that was the, the prime protection dog. Yeah, so uh, the, this system is important because it works well the aggression. Uh, and do not uh, uh, do not uh, permit that uh, the hunting drive um, overpass the aggression drive. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, our dogs uh, need to have defense instinct because when someone breaks your house, this is the instinct that. Uh, impel the dog to work uh, in this situation. Yeah, uh, there uh, will not be a man running. That will not be a man uh, shaking things or 
or a, a little a small ball or a, a, a bite, a pillow. The man will not have these things. The man will break our house and look in the dog's face. Mm -hmm. This is defense, man. And so we need to to breed a, a, a dog a dog who guard your house, your family, and 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 your car, your your I don't know when you where you will be placed, but uh, the dog has to be the have to be the the defense uh, drive. Uh, that works well. Mm -hmm. Defense uh, and uh, hardness. Mm -hmm. yeah, a dog who, who supports some physical injury in the man, in the fight with the man, and a, a dog who works uh, against the invasion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the more important thing. So the old fashioned uh, Schutzhund will be a, a, go a good place to look. Besides, there's some um, some tests, the, the tests of the the breed that we run. Uh, we are now uh, thinking on on some because it's important to 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 speak and explain to to you and other people looking at the video. Uh, the the original tests uh, were. Uh, are conceived in a ring way, yeah, some like a French ring or a Mongol ring or Belgian ring, mm -hmm. something like this. So the, the dog are working all the instincts together, mix it. Mm -hmm. So we don't know actually if, if the dog are working on aggression or the dog are working on hunting because uh, the man do some steam, uh, uh, stimulus and, and uh, stimulation of the dog mm -hmm. with sounds and, and movement. So uh, most of the dogs are working with uh, impelled aggression, but with some of uh, hunting uh, instinct as support, mm -hmm. support drive. So we need to, to separate these things. So we are now thinking, working in a, a new test to the dog that will be a defense uh, test. Mm -hmm. Only defense. No stimulation and uh, only the, uh, the capacity of the dog to face uh, a man and uh, repel the invasion. Mm -hmm. We are now working on this so this is a new, it's a new test, uh, simple test to be done by anybody, mm -hmm. any owner, and some friend uh, helping, something like that. Something like uh, uh, someone breaking your door and your dog with you, uh, the leash, yeah. mm -hmm. and let's do, let's see what your dog can do now. Mm -hmm. like right. A kennel club, the Brazilian kennel club, affiliated to FCI. One day, if the breed was recognized uh, by FCI, I'm, I think uh, that uh, will be the the most uh, shortly, shortly moving. Yeah, but um, this is uh, a paper that not all all dog brasileiro has mm -hmm. because because um, some breeders only take this paper that's our paper okay from our paper yeah bull boxer club okay right yeah. this our our paper all brazilian all dog brasileiros uh, have this paper uh huh because uh, that's a free paper. <laughs> okay, okay. And 
that's uh, that's a club job mm -hmm. that's made for the club, and we have here all the, the all the the breed lines, uh -huh. the dog, yeah. uh, the father and mother and father, second, third, fourth generation, mm -hmm. all dogs. Number I I will I will show you mm -hmm. here that leads right. my young female. Yeah, that's the number, and we have an online system that we can trace these lines to the origin mm -hmm. of the breed. That's um, our our internal job. Uh, I can I can say. So um, we have these two papers. Mm -hmm. Most of the have just this one, uh -huh. but it. G this paper it's uh, possible to do but now uh, the the cbkc cbkc are uh, asking for uh, three uh, uh, three judge uh, evaluation system to emit this one uh, initial register mm -hmm. so that we will we'll say that your dog is conformed to the morphology of a dog brasileiro, mm -hmm. but blank genealogy. Mm -hmm. So it costs uh, 500 uh, reais our our uh, money here in Brazil. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a little bit expensive to us. Mm -hmm. So most of people of breeders will not be this paper mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so but with with this one we are doing uh, the job of registering mm -hmm. our our life dogs our genealogies so i don't know man uh in some someday this 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 work will be i don't know uh use it and somewhere else i don't know with with FCI, I don't know, with uh, CBKC or other uh, club all around the world. Yeah, but the 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 register is done. That's awesome. You have all registered. That's awesome. That's that's really important and just to legitimize, you know, the the yeah. program that you're doing, and that's great that you guys are doing it yourself and really taking the time to. You know, get all the genealogy to it. That that's a, that's awesome. A lot of a lot of people don't do that. Um, <clears throat> and here, here's just kind of a question that I like to ask people, just that have dogs and and live the dog lifestyle. Uh, what is your morning and evening routine like with your dogs? What what do you do when you first wake up, and what do you do and before you go to bed with them? Yeah. Well, now I have a small puppy with, uh, I don't know, maybe eight weeks old. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And first of all, I release him and his mother from uh, the dormitory, mm -hmm. to, the, to the outside area, the canals. So I let uh, them, I don't know, maybe 40 minutes uh, walking and, and playing around and barking <laughs> to other dogs and right. something like that. So after that, I I release, I I take them to to the inside or again and release the other dogs to walk and play around with uh, each other. So mm -hmm. uh, after that, I do the cleaning routine. Mm -hmm. and Something like uh, eleven o'clock, I do the the feeding the routine to the dog, and after that, uh, some training, some ob obedience training mm -hmm. with me, mm -hmm. and uh, after that, I have to work because I have a, another work, so mm -hmm. I. I teacher in, the, in uh, a university here in my city mm -hmm. so i take a shower and go to to university mm -hmm. do my 
my administrative job and and most nights I have classes to students. So. Okay. I'm home uh, 11:30, 11:20. Uh, so um, I release the dogs again mm -hmm. and play sometimes. And after that, everybody goes back. They go to bed, yeah. <laughs> And once a week, uh, most Saturdays, I do some training, defense training, with my my local group. Yeah, we are now three three colleagues uh, working uh, our, uh, the dogs of each one of us. So in this group, we have a German Shepherd, uh, Malinois. Uh, some of our local bulldogs uh, here, Camparos, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. uh, and uh, Brazilian uh, dog brasileiros. In this, in this mm. now we are working with the, the dogs. Some of the dogs are are most uh, advanced on on the training, mm -hmm. but uh, most of them are. Uh, beginners. Mm -hmm. So we have uh, working on the the review. The I don't know how to uh, speak this in English, but it's the review. Yeah. Uh, that we see on the on the IPO mm -hmm. uh, Right. We are working on this with uh, most of the most advanced dogs. Now Zork, Loba, and uh, uh, the female of uh, Chibere, the Daga. Daga is the is a local name to a, a knife, a local knife, local culture knife. So now Zork, Loba, and Daga are working this uh, on this uh, part of training okay training. oh awesome so you got your own little community there how how would you say uh the dogo brazil is is stacking up against like a malinois are they are they have similar instincts are they are they working getting close to that ability or Yeah, they they have. Um, I I think that uh, most of uh, dog brasileiros have a little bit more aggress aggression mm -hmm. and a little bit less uh, hunting. Mm -hmm. So right, you said that. But, uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but that, that are, they are dogs that work uh, very good in in some in some sense and uh, need some some uh, adaptation in training system mm -hmm. but not nothing that this character that, that's, that can break the the routine yeah, yeah. something that we are need we have to do some adaptation to the dogs but uh, we are uh, clearly uh, working within the the system mm -hmm. that's not uh, It's not a big deal. It's the same with the Malinois and German Shepherd. Yeah. Uh, we, the train is a little bit different, dog by dog and breed by breed. Right. That's a, it's, it's a normal thing. Mm -hmm. uh, most of us are, are very... Uh, it's, a, it's a difference between uh, the breeds. The, The Brazilian dog Brazilian is a very hard dog, very hard. Dog. Mm -hmm. There's no problem to physical uh, correction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. with you some correction with your dog, they actually they, they frequently the correction don't break, don't break your dog. Don't uh, don't, uh, don't uh, mess the train. Mm -hmm. And uh, they are, but they are a little bit more. Uh, how can I say that? Uh, dispersed. 
uh, the, the attention of the dog. The dog can, can be a little bit more uh, looking for some somebody here, somebody there, right. to another end. Yeah. When the the training uh, progresses, the, the 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 people can uh, see that the dog. Uh, Will be more focused on on the man. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's a training issue. The dog looks around. The man do some stimulation there. The dog focus again and work that 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 that. Mm -hmm. The real danger is the man, not the other dog barking, not the other animal, not the other people, not you. The real danger is the man in front of you. So we, uh, in, in training by training, we, we training session by training session, we are working this, and the dogs are very responsive to the work. That's very, very beautiful right. thing to work. Right. <clears throat> well, is there any uh, last words that you would like to say? Anything that you would want to convey and to wrap it up and... It's been a great interview and a lot of great information. I, I appreciate you taking your time out of your busy schedule to do this. Um, so, yeah, any last words, any any messages, and um, any future plans for yourself with breedings or anything like that? Just go ahead and share. Well, no, um, i like to thank you uh, the opportunity again. Yes. Yeah. I'd like to thank you. Uh, the confident, the confident of my my buddies within Dog Brasileiro that uh, uh, asked me to talk with you and do this, 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 this part. That's um, working to preserve this breed and to do some uh, new breed, new 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 leaders né? and uh, new. Sorry, you broke it up a little bit, but all, what I'll say is that uh, no, I appreciate uh, uh, your time, uh, and I really enjoy talking to you, and I really enjoy your dogs uh, watching on your website. I think uh, it, you know it was it, it brought a, a new breed to light to me, and and um, it's something that I will continue to follow, and I'll be happy to have you on again anytime that you uh, you've got something to say, and I appreciate you. Uh, taking the time, uh, Diego, and uh, I'll be in contact with you soon, and, and we'll do it again soon. Thank you very much.